Hello, Nolensburg. I am reaching out to you to discuss the 2020 stewardship campaign. Just last week, two different parents sent me a text message that featured their children's school project. Many of you may not know, but last week was open house and our schools were bustling with parents and the kids had a project to make. And that project was Welcome to Murraysville posters. And two different of our children featured Nolensburg on their Welcome to Murraysville poster. Friends, your pledge enables us to nurture our children's faith. Your pledge enables us to fulfill our baptismal promises. Every time we baptize a person, we promise to nurture that person in the faith of Jesus Christ. Those two different kiddos, two different families, were responding to the love that you show in Jesus Christ. And we were fulfilling our mission statement through those kids. We were nurturing children, and we were reaching out to all those parents who had seen that school project in love and service. How does God respond to a greedy and broken world? God leads by generosity grounded in grace. That is our 2020 stewardship campaign slogan. And Christ calls us to lead by generosity grounded in grace. I'm asked all the time, what is Nolensburg like? I do not believe that I will serve a finer church. We're Christ-centered, we are faithful, we are reasonable. We are a Christ-centered community and in joyful response to Christ's love for us. We worship God, we nurture those two kiddos that made those projects, but all children because we see all people as children of God and we reach out in love and service to further the kingdom of God. But Nolensburg is not only fulfilling its mission statement, this building and grounds is a community center. When you pledge, you enable us to be Christ's presence in and for the community. When you drive across the parking lot, you see that our parking lot is full day in and day out. There are over 60 organizations that use this space. Our recreational after school ministry just received the best Murraysville award. We have junior high kids, anywhere from 20 to 30 children, every Tuesday and Thursday after school walking down to receive nurture, care, a relaxed space, but also the teachings of Christ. Our quest ministry has been filled to capacity each year since we have been running that during our spring and fall sessions. And that too is a space where kindergartners through fifth grade have a space to ask questions, to be enriched, to learn a few different things that they may not hear in school, but also it is a place that we can love and nurture not only the children of Newlandsburg, but we're reaching out to those who are not members, reaching out to the community and bringing them into a safe space where Christ is heard. Our music academy just celebrated its 10th anniversary, and Marty just told me that now we have over 200 students using this space to learn the arts. And of course, our Sunday school on Sunday morning, they are bustling with children. When you come to worship, you see that at 8.30, we have anywhere from 10 to 20 kids come up for the children's sermon. At 11 o'clock, we're having anywhere from 20 to 30 children come up for the children's sermon. Your pledge enables us to nurture those young lives, but when we nurture those young lives, they are going out and furthering the kingdom of God. Just like those two school projects, as I have mentioned before, your pledge makes an impact in our community. When you think about pledging, think about your priorities. And as your pastor, I would ask you to ask the question, what are your priorities? How much do you value Christ's church? And really, the importance of pledging is so that we can best set our budget and it gives us flexibility 
to dream big. Now you might be wondering, well, how much should I pledge? Really, that answer is between you and God. But I would go back to asking those questions and having you ask the question, what are your values? How much do you value Christ church? And if you don't know those questions, track your spending a little bit. How much are you spending on the mortgage, car payments, whatever else? How much are you giving to Christ church? And do those expenses align with your values? What are your values? Friends, I do hope that you pledge for 2020 and that we can continue to enable and nurture not only our children, but everyone who walks through this door. That they might hear that we are a Christ-centered community and in joyful response to Christ's love for us, we worship God, we nurture children, we accept all as God's people, and we reach out in love and service to further the kingdom of God.